we're building an art bot. We're gonna use this cup, some markers, to build a robot that is actually able to draw us something. <laughs> I'm not sure what it's going to draw, but we are going to try to build this for a purpose. And that's what robots do. They have a purpose to help us with things. This one is going to do art. Now, we have a battery pack with some AA batteries and we have a motor. I'm going to connect the red to red and I'm going to connect the black wire to the black wire. And when I turn on the power, we should get a closed circuit and we have power. Perfect. I'm gonna take some electrical tape and I'm going to cover those wires so that they can't touch because if they touch, it's gonna short out our robot. So now that we have our motor, we're gonna to start to build the actual robot that's going to do the artwork. You're gonna need three or four markers for this. I'm going to choose, I'm gonna do three markers. I think that'll be a good balance. I'm gonna do RGB, red, green, and blue, primary colors of light. And what we're going to do is you're gonna tape them on the inside of this cup. Now, in order to do that, you need some double-sided tape. And I'm just gonna prep all of these first. So I have this double-sided tape and I'm gonna space mine like one on the top and one close to the bottom so that it has lots of support. And you want that to be facing on the same side of the marker. And the trick is that you wanna get these all so they're coming out of the cup at about the same height so that it's balanced. I need to space out the legs of my robot fairly evenly. That's two. And now our third one, green. This actually feels stable. And now it's time to add the battery pack and the motor to our body of the robot. I'm gonna take a big long piece of double-sided tape and I'm going to place it right here. And I'm gonna hang the switch part over just a little bit. So you're gonna see this is gonna hang over the front. And I'm gonna to try to center that really good. All right, let's get that right there. I'm just gonna kinda, of, there we go. Now it's nice and sturdy. And I can still get to my switch. Turns on. Now, so grab another piece of double-sided tape, place that right there. I'm gonna have this hanging off the edge. And for extra stability, I'm just going to put a piece of tape over the top and tape it down really good because this hopefully will keep the motor in place. It's kind of torquey, so it's gonna be like Ugh. You can use different sized lids. Um, here's a soda bottle lid. And all you do is you just take a push pin and you're just going to push into there. You're gonna kind of wiggle it, make a hole. And then you're just gonna pop that onto your motor. I'm gonna start with a bigger bottle cap from a, a drink bottle. We're just gonna slide that on there just like this maybe. There we go. When I turn this on, <laughs> my robot's gonna wiggle. And then if it does, then we're gonna uncap the markers and we're gonna make some art. So here we go. Three, two, one. Oh my gosh, that was insane. That was really cool. All right, it looks like it's going to walk all over the place. I don't think I have a big enough sheet of paper. <laughs> I think it's just gonna run all over my table. So I'm gonna grab some more paper and then we're gonna test it. Carefully uncap your markers. And now when I turn it on, in three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. All right, let's fix that. There we go. So I think it's gonna work now. All right, moment of truth in three, two, one. Art bot. <laughs> go this way, go this way, go this way. <laughs> oh, I still got it on the table. <laughs> nice. Later, art bot. Oh, that's so cool. Now, my pattern and my art isn't quite 
as beautiful as I wanted it to be, but this actually worked. Let's add a head to Artbot. And Artbot's gonna get one eye, so Artbot can see where it's going. Let's move this paper out of the way, all of our materials so that you have the paper all to yourself. I'm gonna turn it on. And art. Whoa! Good job, Art Bud.